Hey guys, what's happening? So, just got this from uh, Amazon, and I wanted to do like a high torque NEMA 17 stepper motor upgrade here, and I'm hoping to reduce some of the jerk in my Y axis in my printer, and I'll show you that in a second. But uh, this is a high torque NEMA 17, and I already have one already, but you can tell it's high torque just because it's a much bigger motor. So here's your, here's your typical standard like Corral-A, A-Net, stepper motor. And as you can see, this is definitely a lot bigger. It's bigger this way. So it's the same size this way, obviously, because it's NEMA 17. Same mounting footprint, but the actual uh, motor is thicker this way. So basically, that's going to give me more clamping force and more, more action, more torque. Uh, it's it's going to clamp down on the actual motor it won't be able to free spool as much and also it's going to be able to actually uh, pull more more force more torque so one of the things I actually noticed um, is that all these high torque motors actually have like the, the leads built into the actual motor whereas the cheaper ones the small ones actually have like the external leads so I don't know what the reason behind that is every single one I've seen has been like this but the uh, permanently mounted wires but let me, go, let me get back I'll show you my uh, printer here so this originally was my a printer it was in what was it like an E10 and uh, look at that little motor back there that's my original y-axis stepper motor but this is actually uh, upgraded in bed I think it's like 310 by 310 so it's pushing a lot more weight now and I noticed that it actually added some jerk more jerk than I had before with the smaller bed so I was hoping maybe by putting a bigger stepper motor in there, I could reduce some of the jerk or actually uh, some of the clamping force. Uh, also, I'll probably need to be able, I'll need to step up the current in my Trinamic uh, 2209 drivers. But the cool thing about the 2209 drivers is I can do it in software. I don't have to do it. Um, I don't have to sit there and mess with that trimmer pot. But uh, all right, let me get that going. I gotta undo my tensioner and pull that old stepper motor out. Um, I'm going to have to probably rewire it, some of the stuff in my control box, but, alright, we'll see. It wasn't very expensive, so it was only like 15 bucks. Alright, I'll put a link Before on Before I get too. into that, let me show you the old my printer bot. So this was originally the extruder motor. This crazy heavy motor was my extruder motor on the printer bot. And all the rest of the steppers are actually still like those high torque motors, but this is my best printing printer. This is incredible. So, um... Yeah, I'm using the Bontech SKR 1.3 board and uh, Trinamic 22A drivers and that thing. But uh, yeah, it works awesome. I mean, their prints are incredible. But uh, yes, I'm hoping to, uh, like I said, maybe reduce some of the jerk or improve the print quality a little bit. Alright, stepper's in. So you want to make sure the belt's uh, not too tight, because if it's too tight, it's going to wear out the bearings. And if it's too loose, loose it's going to create more jerk. So... Uh, artifacts all right let's see if this thing works well it's moving the right direction that's a good sign all right it's way up here I was doing a huge print all right guys cool Hopefully that will uh, improve the uh, jerk a little bit. More torque. Alright, awesome.